As you well know, uh, this um, probable cause or uh, lawful, lawfully detained is really a fact issue. It is. Uh, and you have hundreds of these hearings every day in our court system. Uh, and what the attorney does, the attorney will file a motion to suppress. If, if the attorney feels that the stop was an illegal stop, there was no probable cause, or the, the, the defendant was not lawfully detained. The problem is, I mean, I, you know, you, you have that every day on a daily, regular basis, and, and the judge makes a decision based on the facts and the cross examination of the officers and the facts of the stop, probable cause. What the real problem is, is the pretext stops. As you know, they, they happen a lot. Uh, where you use some excuse to stop someone and you tell them, well, your, your license plates are too dirty. Uh, they're not clean enough. Or your light, well, your license plate lights is out. I mean, I've, I've been through a lot of those type of hearings. But if you, you, know, you get arrested, for example, because uh, you're weaving, they think you're, you're, you're drunk or whatever. But if you get arrested, once you get arrested, uh, if you are in this country legally, you cannot uh, file a motion to suppress based on lack of probable cause. For the simple reason that once you get arrested, there's a detainer placed on you, uh, and you're deported. In your case, you're dismissed, uh, you know, or, or they go ahead and try you, but even if they try you and you dismiss the case, you still uh, have a hold on you and you're deported. I mean, I think that's, that's a real problem here in this type of situation. But you don't have the same process for someone who is, who is in this country legally as compared to someone that's legally here. Would you agree with that? Uh, again, Senator, I'm not aware. Your description of the criminal system is oh, yeah. accurate. I yes. don't know how it works in the immigration system. The only thing I correct is I know we, we talk about pretext stops, which, although the law doesn't recognize that. I mean, if there is a, I think people are talking about having a broken taillight. Yeah. That is an offense. Y'all put a lot of crimes on the books. <laughs> yeah, I think you added about 50 more of them this session. We're counting them up right now. So if it's an offense, and the officer sees it in his presence review and has information about it, he can make a stop based on that. And then, um, depending on the circumstances as, as they are presented to him, can try to develop more facts for other offenses like DWI, or he can just stop there and make issue a ticket or make an arrest for the offense that he saw. And, and those are all factual situations. Yes. Different for, from case to case. Uh, and, and once that person is arrested, okay. If the person is in this country illegally, there's an there's immigration hold. I can tell you that. I know how it works. Uh, there's a hold on that person. Uh, it doesn't make a difference whether or not the stop was illegal. Chairman Williams. Uh, Senator Hinojosa, um, I'm uh, also not uh, familiar enough with immigration law, but I will stipulate that, that you're yeah. probably correct. I mean, I'll stipulate that you are. I think you know what you're talking about. You're going to assert this if you didn't know it, but what I would say is that that issue is with federal law, not with state law. That's a federal issue. And that is how I began these remarks, is that the whole reason this exercise has become necessary is because of the failure of the federal government under many administrations, Republican and Democrat, to come up with a reasonable immigration policy for our friends from Mexico and other parts of Central America and to adequately enforce our borders. And so the I, I understand what you're saying, and if there's injustice there, it's not in the state system, it's in the federal system, as you've described it. No, and, and I agree, uh, uh, Chairman Williams. I think uh, the point I was trying to make is that, uh, you know, uh, th there, there could be abuses uh, once uh, you allow any police officer on their own uh, to question somebody's immigration status. That's, uh, and now that goes on. Those abuses happen now, and part of what I'm seeking to do with this legislation is to establish a standardized practice across the state where there are guidelines that everyone knows this is state law and this is what we expect. And I don't in any way support any rogue officers or cowboys or pretext stops. I mean, all of that stuff is outside the law. And, you know, like I said, I'm the guy that carried the gypsy cop bill. You helped me pass it. I want to shut those guys down. And uh, so um, if there's something else that we need to do, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm uh, amenable to that. But 
a lot of the objections that we've heard today, respectfully, I would say, have been about things that, frankly, are not in the bill. And so um, it's, it's uh, been frustrating to sit here and listen to, quite frankly. <laughs> well, well, some of it, I think, was just in terms of the, the, the process. I think we're just trying to make sure people understand the process. <laughs>